Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Assalamu alaikum friends and subscribers This is Mahmoud Sheikh and from past few videos I am working on a tutorial series of developing a CRUD application using E framework and in my last video I completed the functionality of uh, weaving a single post okay so whenever, whenever user whenever user click on any of the post view link then uh, the uh, that post will be displayed in full detail okay and now in this video i'll discuss how to update a particular post okay so whenever user click on this update uh, if to this update link we have already set the link uh, id of that particular post to each of this post in our last video itself okay so uh, in this video so whenever you in this video we will be discussing how to update so whenever user click on update link a different form will get open where uh, this uh, information displayed in this form okay uh, pre-populated uh, form will be displayed where there will be a button called button called as update post so whenever i click on that update post the post will get updated and we will get the message okay so first we have to create a function inside the controller site okay so whenever i place the mouse cursor on top of the update on the left side left bottom side of the window you will see uh, there is a i have called as i have created i have to create a function with the name called as update inside the site controller okay so let's go to our home page okay so this is the link for update and we are passing the id and we need to send the request to the site controller and here we need to create a function with a name called as update action update and to this we have to pass the id okay dollar id okay and here inside this we have to call okay so we have to call our we have to render our update view Okay, so let's delete this okay now so far i have not created any update view so let's create it now right click on the site and then click on the new file and then give it a name save it as update.php php okay and then h1 update post okay so now when i click on the update link of any of the post then i should get the update.php uh, view see it's displaying that view okay and now what we need to do is we need to uh, copy the same form which we have created for create okay so let's just uh, select everything and then copy and come to update and then paste it here okay now here we need to change it to update instead of create okay and here as well need to change update post okay and now let's refresh okay it's displaying error because it's not able to identify this post variable so which we have passed to this view inside this view okay so all this is not able to identify so for that what we need to do is we just need to copy our model and we need to pass our model to our view Okay. let's copy okay and then here okay so now save it okay now if i refresh then you will see uh, a form with pre-populated data is displaying for update okay so now if i go back and click on any of the other post like first record update then you will see the details of that particular post will start displaying uh, in the text box text area and then in the drop down okay so now the only thing which is left is we need to write the functionality or we need to write the code so for updating the record whenever user click on this update post after making changes in any of these uh, fields okay so let's do that Okay, so for that we need to come here okay and then inside our update function okay and then okay so let's first comment all this and then try to print the id okay now let's if i 
refresh then you will see the id of that particular post is displaying okay so we have already linked these buttons with their respective ids so uh, whenever user click on any of the update button uh, the record gets fetched out based on the id which we have set to this particular uh, to each and every post okay uh, we have set the id of this particular post which is one to this post and the same thing we have done for the rest of the uh, posts okay so uh, and now the moment when user click on this update the id gets passed and the data of that particular post gets fetched from the database and then displayed to the user okay so that's what we had done just few minutes back okay now you can see okay so based on this id we are fetching the data from the table and we are pre-populating those data into this form okay so how this form is displaying because inside this action uh, site controller inside this action update function we have rendered the update and to this uh, we have rendered the update view and to this update view we have passed the model which is coming from the database or the information of the particular post which is coming from the database uh, okay and we are passing that information to this update okay and here in this update we are displaying that information okay now we need to use an if condition if post load Okay. app request then post and and post saved okay so now here for updating we have written the entire statements inside in inside a single statement okay so for saving uh, um, when we were saving the record we had divided this entire statement this entire statement into uh, different levels or different steps okay but here we have taken the those different steps into one statement okay so here we are loading uh, the request here we are loading the data uh, that is uh, uh, that is coming from the form okay here we are checking if the data which is user is going to enter or update inside this form uh, gets loaded successfully and the data gets saved successfully then we will display them we will save the data and we will display the success message to the user get session and then set flash okay and then we will pass the key and value key and value which is the same thing we just copy and paste it here message and then post update it successfully okay and then in return I will render the view I will redirect to index view okay and then dollar post of id okay here id and in else in else i will i will return the if the data didn't get updated then i will return again the same update form okay so now okay so one thing okay so when whenever we get this message we get the message on the home page okay that is index that is home page here at the top and for displaying that message we have already written a statement here here at the top okay but we need to put this inside a due 
cut it okay with the class okay so let's go to our boot switch and let's find for warnings okay okay I'll just copy this and come here okay close this one is fine okay let's cut it out and then put it here now save it okay now let's uh, see let's check okay go back and now let's click on this first post okay so wordpress okay fr okay which uh, which means framework okay uh, framework okay and uh, let's let's change to something else uh, let's see uh, mvc category okay, now i'm going to update the post and uh, okay so it has returned me an error okay calling a non method set session okay okay post save okay app and then okay it has to be get session okay get session and then set flash okay okay uh, the record gets updated but uh, we get the error because of uh, uh, this statement okay so now let's try to update some other record okay and then framework and then let's again change it to cms and now let's click on update okay so now uh, you can see our post is updated successfully and at the same time we get the message uh, from the server that post updated successfully okay so now we have successfully updated Okay, so now we can close it uh, if you want okay now we successfully updated the record and the only thing which is left to complete uh, or to come to the end of this tutorial series is delete okay so um, in our next video we will discuss how to delete a particular record okay so i hope you like this video i hope you get some uh, idea or some useful information out of this video if you like this video subscribe to our channel click on like button share it with your friends and uh, i will see you guys in my next video where i'll be discussing on how to delete a record okay so don't go anywhere guys uh, watch this complete tutorial series and uh, um, and i will see you guys in my next video thanks for watching